guys Shea Bear 1000 here we're gonna take the boat out for a little bit sorry about the sun it's almost noon so we're gonna take the boat out and uh, do a little fishing so hopefully I don't get skunked by monkey again but she's getting better that's good we're mostly just wanting to go take a ride but I figured we'll get back in a little channel somewhere and uh, drop a line in. <coughs> Excuse me. Drop a line in and uh, see what happens. I might put her on some worms so she'll have more of a chance of catching different fish. I'm probably going to stick to some chicken liver or chicken gizzard. Alright, now i got to unroll this. So I'll set you down over here. It's very windy, sorry about the wind. All right, I'm going to unroll this. Right on. Now. Okay. Just going to set these right here for now. That just holds the, the cover up so the rain can run off a little better. I need to uh, <clears throat> I hate these cheap plugs I think I got another one in there somewhere I'll have to look for it there we go. there's that I'm not sure if I want to bring this camera or if I'm just going to use the JVC I don't like the JVC but I don't want to screw up my camera we have a full tank of gas I need to take this plastic out and clean it off or get another one that's got a gauge in it I can barely see it, it says full There's that. Now, I need to go hook up the truck. So, let me get the truck moved. What I usually do is I'll just pull it up that way. And then I'll just wheel the boat around and hook onto it. I think we're ready to go after we hook it up. We'll check the lights and everything, so hang tight, guys. ABS light on here it came on I think we were I think it's when we went camping up in Homosassa uh -oh. I hear some brake dust and it went off and came on again and went off for about a week but then So I think it's either got a bad sensor or I think that's good enough. I think it's either got a bad sensor or one of them's dirty. So I'll get you on the stand, we'll hook this boat up.
All right, let's check the lights. And we don't have a right turn. So I think that's in the trailer park because we just checked this, remember? So let me check it out and see what I can find out. Should have brought you with me. That was an easy fix. <clears throat> I just didn't have that plugged in all the way. Okay. So now we have to lift our foot up. I replaced so many of these jacks at work. If we forget to lift them up, rip them off, bend the frames and everything, so it's easy to do. I forgot one time on our other boat, but it was up high enough where it didn't hit anything. We just came back and was unloading the boat, or getting ready to unhook the boat, and the, and the jack was down. So, all right, now that we're hooked up, I, I gotta keep this battery up here because this is not the right trailer you can see the AMU is way zoomed in where the wheels are almost in the sound of the boat you got all this weight here when you unhook that thing it wants to jump up on you so I need something I need another trailer where the wheels are going to be back here more you know someone's tried to compensate by putting longer bunks on it but that doesn't change your pivot point right here you know it's a fulcrum and that doesn't change that won't change that so it's a small trailer I think it's a jet ski trailer um, but so I need to get another trailer nothing wrong with it it's just too small for this thing all right we're gonna shut the lights out well the light out we go see how monkey's doing and uh we're gonna be getting out of here pretty soon sorry again about the wind guys it's gonna be windy out there today so but maybe we'll catch some fish right guys we're gonna get out here and we're gonna start up the motor or you want to go first all right so we're gonna start the boat up the motor here in a second people there just came in to do some fishing looks yeah. like with the sun so That's I thought it nice. so I thought it started up down here Uh, 
hate the smooth. Have I ever mentioned that? Yeah, every time you get in the sand pile. Love this hate, motor though. Hate that trolling motor. That's the way they're supposed to start right there. All right, let's go. It's technically up river, but it's south, you know what I mean? Because the river flows back that way. But that way is north, so. Okay guys, this is the campsite where we've been wanting to go, that they kept saying it was closed, but there's some campers there, and there's some campers down there. Mm -hmm. Now, that's the road to go out of here, and right up there's that road there is where I had the bear encounter. But as soon as I came out in, because I had the boat parked here, and as soon as I came out there, the bear turned around and walked away. So we're gonna do a little fishing here. And shall fish shall fish me once, it ain't gonna happen again. Uh -huh. But our lower unit's going out. We're cruising up here about 25 miles an hour just like a went into neutral. Yeah. Now if you idle it, it'll push you along, but that's why I've been wanting to check that lower unit out, so Something happened in there. We'll see what it is. I'll put shaft strip and something's going on. So. Well, we got the, the other motor, so. So we're, so we're going to check this out for next weekend because there's a fire pit right there. Yeah. But I'd like to be by the trees. I like this spot right here. Okay, but I'd like to be. All right. Where are you going to set the tent up? Right there in the right there in the sun. I like where they were at. What about there? Yeah, it's right on the water. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll see if we can get in here next weekend. But I know I've been checking it out and keep saying it's closed, but this is, uh, what's this, pot, Pots Preserve? I think so, yeah. Yeah. But anyway. We'll walk up to the sign and find a phone number we can call. Anyway, um, so there's that. But out fishing me it ain't gonna happen again we'll see yeah it's recording you all right in there yeah i see you and everything oh. yep yeah you caught a fish Ooh. yeah you caught a fish oh he he's a baby fish I think about a pound. Yeah? Yeah. But guess what I didn't bring? What? Stringer. The stringer? The oh. stringer. I didn't bring the stringer. Oh. Yeah. He's not squawking either. He's not squawky. Well, I'm not getting out fish today. No. You hear me have orange flowers in there? Yep. Cause he's he's going back, so I don't want to hurt him too bad. Right. Aww. Oh, I'm he's sorry. shaking. I'm sorry, fishy. Yeah, I'm sure you've been saying that to that one you almost caught. Yeah, he broke my line. You kind of broke your line. Uh, no. <laughs> okay. So anyway, there's number one. We were 
were driving by and we found this guy sitting on a tree. Back over to your pool. Um. Right. Gotta get him off the hooks. <laughs> okay, guys, so there's my day of fishing. Yep. Two and I had one on, but he got me underneath the tree limb. So when that happens, they'll usually get off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She had a big one on up there at the campsite, but um, I told her when you set the hook, you gotta yank it. Well, she kept yanking and kept yanking and kept yanking. I'm like, what are you doing? And then, oh no! And it it looked big. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it was trying to pull, pull them like, no, you only yank on it one time to set the hook. So, when you seen that where I was telling her, watch this, you know, to do this, that's what I was showing her, not to, you only do it one time to set the hook, and once he's on there, then you can play with him. Right. But she thought I meant keep setting the hook. <laughs> but oh, well. we're, we're going to come back out tonight. She's going to do more filming, so stay tuned for her video. I'm going to end mine here. I got some work to do on the boat motor, so stay tuned while well, the motor's fine. It's a lower unit. So. Right. We'll take it apart and see what's wrong with it. I may try to find a used lower unit or rebuild that one. We'll just see what, what all is going on with it and see what's happening, and then we can go from there. But, so, I mean, it's all right as long as you're just past an idle. But as soon as you rev it up, it's just kind of like a clutch slipping, you yeah. know what I mean? So... Uh, the guy that had that before us, they already had him in at $601, and then they wouldn't go ahead and, you know, put a new output shaft or anything. Like, I don't get it. That's why I've always been concerned about that, because mm -hmm. the way they screwed this guy, you know. Mm -hmm. I think what it was was, oh, he'll get out there, and he'll have problems, and he'll have to bring it back. Right. I think that's what they, I know that company, and, and they're good for that and they keep your stuff for months yeah yeah so we'll see what huh surprise they're even in business yeah well we'll see what's going on with that one but 
If it don't rain, monkey's hungry, so I gotta take her on. I fed the fish, now I gotta feed her. I gotta feed the monkey. Huh. Yeah. Yeah. So, that's about it, guys. Uh, so, I hope you enjoyed Shea Bear's fishing. Yeah. Yep. So, we're gonna get her fed and we're gonna come back out. Like I said, she's gonna do more filming on hers. Yeah. But I'm just gonna call it right here. So, okay. On mine. So, I'm gonna bring a big light for her because her camera don't have night vision so and I also got the smaller light for it. it's charged up and ready to go I got three batteries charged for you yes I noticed that thank you <laughs> so all right guys thanks for watching appreciate it Shea Bear the Man Legend Mike. I'm <laughs> I can't talk go ahead Mike says she's out for now bye Shea Bear the Man Legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys and take care thanks for watching appreciate it